Hey everyone, uh, Admiral Seabass here. We're starting July 1938. This is the fifth turn of the game, and we're starting with Germany. Remember, Germany saved all their money last turn, didn't spend any, and so they have 48 bucks this turn. And now, Germany can buy medium tanks and mechanized infantry uh, starting this turn. Every other nation in the game has to wait until July 39 to buy them. So Germany's going to buy eight tanks for $48. And uh, and then Germany, which has advanced mechs, those can be purchased starting in July of 39. So Germany's probably going to do this again. They're probably going to save all their money that they collect at the end of this turn and next turn and then buy advanced mechs instead of normal mechs. Because advanced mechs attack and defend slightly better, but they can pair two for one with blitzing tanks. So that's probably what Germany's going to do here. No lend lease, and then uh, the big thing here this turn is uh, we're going to try to finish off the Spanish Civil War here, and uh, we're going to target the last remaining Republican stronghold in the mainland of Spain, and we're just going to move everything in, because uh, if the Nationalists win, they can reorganize everything the way they want to. So we're going to move everything in. So let me move this to the battle board, and I'll be back. Okay, I already adjusted everything for the mountain territory that they're attacking into. If you remember, mountain infantry don't suffer that penalty, and they each get upscaled for their artillery, so they'll both be attacking at 3. The light tank gets scaled down from 4 to 3, and um, the artillery themselves get scaled down from 3 to 2. So those get first strike. So let's go ahead and do those. Two or less. No hits. And then the light armor and the two mountains attack at three or less. There's a hit. And the Republican uh, infantry will shoot back at four or less. That's a miss. So the Spanish Civil War is over. And the uh, Nationalists have won. So uh, what does that mean? Well, that means that uh, Germany and Italy both just secured a victory point each. Um, in this game and uh, let me get a roundel here to show that this last territory has been taken by the nationalists so we will put that on there and now um, German Italian victory provides one Bonus income per turn and a victory condition for Germany and Italy. Germany has a chance to align Spain later. National Spain becomes a neutral country. Uh, remove defeated Spanish forces from outlying islands and colonies from the game. Victorious forces become the Spanish army. The victorious player can now reconfigure them and place them as he wishes in any configuration in Spanish territories. No more than one unit may be placed in Spanish islands or colonies. Naval forces must be set up adjacent to a Spanish naval base. Naval forces of a losing side are subject to capture. Roll D12. 1 to 6, they become property of the victor. 7 to 12, they're scuttled. So I'm going to pick this guy up and the rest of the victorious forces. And those are going to go basically anywhere I want. So um, we will put something like this. Um... Nice little counterattacking force there in the middle. Uh, one mountain infantry there. One mountain infantry there. And probably do something like um, actually we'll just put both of these in the middle. It's unlikely that uh, the Spanish will come into the game. Um, Spanish the national of Spain can only be aligned if Italy takes, uh, I believe it's Gibraltar and Cairo. I doubt that's going to happen in this game, uh, but you never know. So um, let's just set them up like that. And uh, these boats now we have to roll for. So uh, let me move the dice tray over here. And we will roll for those in a way that you can see. Move this back a little bit. That's a little too far. Let's see. 
can't. This dice tray is just too big. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to roll off screen here and let you know what happens. So we've got a Republican cruiser here, which I roll for first. So uh, 1 to 6, it's Nationalist. 7 to 12, it's Scuttled. That's a 5, so that's Nationalist. Then we've got a Destroyer here. That's a 1, that's Nationalist. And then we've got a Coastal Sub, which is also Nationalist. So those will all become Nationalist. And let me see. I've got a Cruiser and a Destroyer in yellow. What I don't have is a Sub. So... We will do something like this. And we are going to put those um, here at this naval base here. I think you can see that on the screen. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. And this sub, I'm just going to put a roundel down here like that. Put that nationalist or that Republican sub on there. I know it's not the best thing in the world, but it's the best I got. So, and then um, Germany cannot collect the bonus income uh, until uh, it goes to war um, with the Allies or with Russia. So we'll remember to do that uh, when that happens. And then, let's see. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, the victory points. Let's go ahead and mark those. Um, let's see here. Axis currently have one, and that's for Italy possessing Abyssinia. So let's do that like that. And then Germany now has one. Italy now has two. The Axis have a total of three. So you can see, I think... Germany and Italy both spent somewhere between 8 and 12 IPPs each. And they've just secured two victory points, which pretty much can't be taken away in this game. So, and, you know, Russia only put about $4 into this. But once Russia saw that Italy was going to be all in along with Germany, I think Russia thought, let's not waste our money. And I think that was a pretty good move on Russia's part. And honestly, this was the historical result. And it was around July of 38, or the summer of 38, that the Nationals defeated the Republicans. So it's interesting to see that that kind of more or less played out historically. So, um, okay, that's it for combat moves. Um, the only non-combat I'm going to have is Germany. Is to move this guy down here and go one, two, three, like that. Put him in there. My other subs are going to stay where they are. Uh, all my other units, I think, in Europe, uh, at least at this point, will stay where they are. And um, so now we will deliver units. So I've got eight tanks. And um, it's going to be pretty simple. I'm going to put... Uh, three tanks here at this major factory right here in western Germany kind of move this stuff around here so I can fit those in there in western Germany and then I'm going to put three more over here in uh, eastern Germany right there could you see that top part yeah, you could. Okay. Uh, so Germany has got a major war machine now staring down the Allies. And uh, Germany is going to collect $24 this turn. Fairly short term. Uh, pretty big happenings here with the Spanish Civil War being over. Uh, but uh, you see Germany is going to collect. They didn't collect any additional income this turn. Uh, so they will collect $24. And uh, next turn, they'll probably just save that again because two turns from now they can buy advanced mechs, which they need to pair with those tanks for blitzing. So, yeah, um, I don't think there's anything else I need to take account of.
I already checked the victory conditions and we gave those uh, victory conditions to the Axis. So, yeah, I think we're good for Germany. Uh, Spanish Civil War is over. Nationalists are victorious. And uh, Germany itself has got a pretty nice force there built up on both fronts. And they can still move that around <clears throat> strategically or, uh, you know, most of those units within Germany, especially the tanks, they can get pretty much anywhere they need to get within a turn. So that's it. Admiral Seabass signing off.